after you've exited the Scourge Challenge, you gotta go back to the, uh, the House Point Ceremony Room. But don't worry, you won't be heading to the Bean Room unless you were like, I don't know, dumb or something, collected a bunch of challenge stars, I don't know. Alright, so now we get to go collect the Bicorn Horn for Hermione to make the potion. You're gonna want to shoot this chest, just in case you get a frog, you can pick it up later on your way to Goyle. You know, it's useful. Everything is on a cycle in this level, so you want to be going as fast as you can. It's particularly the snails in the coming room. You want to be able to get there quick enough to trap them in two hits, you'll see what I mean in a moment. So you just gun it over here. So get the guy on the right first. And hopefully you can get them both into the pit in two casts. I think I got it actually. No, just barely didn't. And then with these guys, the strategy is you want to wait till those doors go down and just hit them each into the the holes. You can't get them um, all the way in because your spells don't go far, far enough. So you just do something like this. See, look at that. Now your spells can fizzle on those iron bars, so careful there. And then here, stun this guy. Do not stun the second snail because he's going to walk closer to where you want him to be on his own. So now stun him. And you see he's already covered some distance for us. Start heading towards this direction. And we're going to curve our spell here to the left so that it goes around the thing. Here you want to shoot the purple and green switches, but if their cutscenes start at the same time, you will soft lock like this. If I'll try to show it. Yeah, just like that. You'll be soft locked, or rather, the camera will be in some weird fucking position and you can't continue. So, of course. Wait a moment before shooting the second one, and then you've got some options here. You want to land down there, but if you can just take the damage and get it back later. But you can also try to grab the ledge, and there's really no setup for this. Fuck off, Snail. Uh, you've just gotta, kind of got to go for it. I recommend letting go of forward kind of right after you run off. Oops. And then holding double forward in midair. That's kind of the best way to do it. Here's the method that I use. Obviously, small ledge grab is fastest. And then get this thing as soon as you can. Because that's going to open this up. And then we're coming up on wheel skip, which is kind of the cooler looking part of this level. Now, there's a few different strats here. Notably, in any percent, we wall walk along here. But since this is glitchless, you can't. The intended strat is to shoot the Scourge here and just get these platforms spinning. It's much faster to just jump straight to the center and then jump over here. You can walk on these tiny little ledges. And then for this last jump, it's actually the hardest jump. Uh, what you want to do is go as close to this corner as you can and aim at this corner. So many people I see try to go from like right here and aim there or some combination of that where they're like going like that. Well, I actually made it, but. <laughs> so what you wanna do, get in the corner, aim for the corner and use spell tech and double inputs. You will make it every time if you do it like that. This is pretty straightforward. You just kill the guy, I missed the shot. Kill the scourge, medium mudge grab here, wait a moment for Harry to turn. Then jump backwards. Alright, so see what I did there? Uh, the reason we do that is because if you were to hold forwards here, you would go like, Harry does that turnaround animation and it sucks. Die. Uh, but if you instead just grab it and then hold backwards, then just jump. Look, you make it right onto here. And then you're going to turn your camera around, shoot that, and try to jump onto that, then up again to get a small edge grab. I'll show it. Okay, see, I messed that up. You're not supposed to ledge grab there. Bam. Shoot the Scourge. Just like that. Medium grab up here. 
shoot this, and then in this room, try to kill the pixies so they don't block you. And then jumping across these moving platforms is really annoying because there's these gaps where you can fall in and die. If you noticed, um, there's kind of, I don't know how to, like, yeah, look, Harry can actually fit through here. <laughs> so, you don't, you won't fall, but it will eat your jump. If you, like, just there, I just press jump. If you look at the input display, let's do that again in slow motion. So if you don't want the game to eat your jump inputs, you're going to walk along the beam here. Or along this beam here. It doesn't matter. I just like to go on this side. Jump. Jump once again. That's it. Here the floor falls out from under you. So you're going to shoot the scourge and just jump straight across. Get a tiny ledge grab. And then two mediums. And then you're done with the level. <laughs> 